Hello friends, welcome to the course of Code Igniter for RESTful API development using Silt authentication. Inside this video, we'll discuss about API auth filter. If I back to editor, inside last videos, we had completed all about our API methods as register and login. So after these APIs methods, also we need to work over this profile API method, logout method, project method and many more. So while calling these APIs, actually we need to pass a valid token value inside a authorization header. And what is that token value? As you know from login method, login API call, we have generated a token value. This token value indicates that we have logged in with the valid login details. So this token value will be available inside header while calling these API routes because these are protected. So inside this video, we need to create a filter, means filter is just like a mediator which filters our HTTP request that it is coming from a valid request or an invalid request. So we need to set up a auth filter and that filter will validate that token value is coming a valid token value or not. Let's back to editor. So to create a filter for this application, back to terminal. Let's close this development server first. And I will make use of a spark command. So php spark make filter and then I need to pass the filter class name. So let's say auth. I will pass suffix as a flag, press enter, it will create authfilter.php and this file will be stored inside app and filters folder. Let's back to editor. So go inside app folder, filters folder and here we have authfilter.php. So inside this authfilter.php, we need to work over this before method because before accessing all of the API methods, first we need to check a valid token value. So here, already we have discussed all about our auth helper function. So that auth helper function also we need to make use of inside this before method. So what I will do, first I will load that helper function. And this helper function will be available if we have Silt authentication package installed. Now after this helper load auth, then we need to call let's say auth and inside this auth we need to pass the token value it means the key value pairs from where we will receive the authorization token value. So to understand this point let's go inside this config folder open a file called auth.php so this is the file actually generated when we had installed all about sealed authentication package so if I scroll down so we can see that authentication headers means authenticator header and here we can see tokens. So when we call our APIs, like all these APIs, then we need to pass a valid token value inside authorization key and that key value we can access from this tokens key. So we need to check here inside this before method that from this tokens value, what we're receiving the token is valid or not. So I will copy this key called tokens, go here, pass it here and then I will call logged in method. It will return the true value when we have a logged in valid token value otherwise it will return a false value. So what I will do, I will go and cut this line, let's wrap inside this if block. It will return a true value when we have the valid token. Let's add a exclamation sign here which means that if token is invalid then in that case it turns into a true value and go inside this if block. So if we have a invalid token value so in that case we need to redirect so let's say return redirect to base url and then we'll define another route let's say invalid access. So this is the route actually we need to create and we will go inside this route when we have our invalid token value. So what we have to do, first we need to register this route. Let's go inside our routes.php file. Go here inside this API. This is our API as a prefix, what we are using for API calls. So here, let's say routes. 
get request type and let's invalid access it will use let's say auth controller and auth controller will define a method let's say access denied let's define this method so i will copy go here inside this controllers folder open up auth controller add the last of this controller file let's add that so public function access denied and here let's say return this response created and inside this let's pass an array and let's say status equals to false message equals to invalid access and data will be an empty array so this is the response we see when we have the invalid token value inside our authorization header otherwise the api will be called good auth filter so here inside this file successfully now we have completed all about the logic implementation of before method now before using this auth filter we need to register inside this application so go inside this config folder let's open a file called filters.php and here let's say use auth filter once we load that file go inside aliases and here let's say api auth this is an alias name it will call auth filter auth filter and it's a class so successfully now we have registered our auth filter inside this filters.php now we can access this file this logic inside this entire application so i will go inside this routes.php so we want to add this access it means the filters condition first inside this profile api so here define an array and let's say that filter and inside this filter we need to pass our alias name so the alias we have called api auth i will copy and paste it here so for the time being we have Im implemented only the condition of filter only for this profile api but in our coming videos the same concept will implement with other apis so let's see that when we call our profile api this filter is working or not back to postman so before that let's start our development server so back to terminal php spark serve press enter it will start development server back to postman let's copy this url this is all about our login api open a new tab inside this url bar i will paste our url so instead of calling login let's say profile will use get request type because inside our routes declaration we can see it is get request type so here it will be get request type go inside headers and as we know that before calling this api we are not passing any header value so in that case this filter will work and inside this api auth we have implemented this condition that if the token value will receive is logged in then this method will work like profile method will work otherwise it will redirect to invalid access so if i go here let's click on send button and as we can see that again we have some exception and this is can't find a route and if i go here let's check all about source.php this is invalid access and the error seems that it is not able to find the route and obviously because it's, it is inside our api prefix so while redirecting to this url also we need to pass api forward slash invalid access so this was our mistake after adding this api forward slash save this change go here let's click on send button And as we can see invalid access and this error because actually we don't have any authorization token value inside headers so in this case it has redirected into this url so once we pass a valid token value so it will return a true value otherwise in case of invalid token value it will return 
or false value. So if I go to postman, let's pass a token value. So this is the token we had generated inside last video. So I will copy this token value, go here, let's add header and I will pass a key called authorization. Authorization means the same key what we had seen inside auth.php. Let's go here, open a file that is auth.php and this is the key where we are passing our token value, go back to postman. So inside value, what I will pass, let's say bearer space and the token value. Click on send button, this time the token value is correct. Let's say that instead of 2, the last value we are changing from 2 to 3 and this token value is invalid. Let's click again on send button. Now let's pass a valid detail. So instead of 3, let's update to 2 value. This time it is a valid token. Click on send button. And as we can see that we are getting a response, but this is a debugger response. Let's go inside auth controller. And after getting a success response, actually it is calling profile method. Go back to auth controller. Let's remove these two lines and here return. Let's return this response created. And inside this method, I will pass an array. Let's say status equals to true message. Let's say profile API called and within data, it is an empty array. Save these changes. Now we have our JSON response Hence from this profile method. Let's go here, click on send button. And now as we can see that we are successfully calling all about our profile method. So this is all about creating auth filter which we can use the conditions of filter inside our protected API calls. Let's summarize one more time before closing this video. So what we had done, first we had created a auth filter. Inside authfilter.php file, we have implemented all about the conditions of using or validating our token value that is helper auth. From this auth helper, we are validating that the token value what we are receiving is logged in or not. If it is invalid, then in that case, we need to redirect into an invalid access route. And from this invalid access route, we are calling a method. And from this method, we are returning an invalid access message. So before using this auth filter, we need to register inside this filters.php file which is coming from config folder. We have loaded here and then we had created an alias and by the help of this alias name actually we had passed this name inside that API route where we need the concept of API auth filter. So this time for the time being we want insight for this profile method to understand the things. So as we can see that while calling this profile API if we don't pass any authorization token value so in that case invalid access route will get called. Otherwise, if we have our valid token value, so in that case, we we'll successfully can get access over a profile API method. And also, inside this headers, we need to pass authorization as a key and inside authorization, the value will be bearer, space and the token value. And this is the token value what we can generate from our login API method. So successfully, now we have completed all about creating auth filters means of protected barriers for protected routes. In our coming videos, we'll use the same pattern concept and see all about our API development processes. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.